Hi guys, it's Lucy Wolf, and today I'm doing a full-on tour. Um, these are all my friends. Um, they wanted to be in it too, so I all love them. Um, so first, I want to show you, here are the stables. Obviously, these are the stables. So here's all the stables. Um, obviously. And then over here... I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to be on foot the whole thing because we have other people and I don't wanna like just include them. And then over here we have more stable areas over here. And then up here there's more like stable areas. I don't have any stables over here quite yet, but once I get to a pretty high level. Um, and then there's the castle, I'll show you that in a bit. And then over here, Oh my goodness. Okay, over here um, is the pet area. It's kind of new, kind of not. Um, I started the game before the Christmas update, or the winter update, I should say. Um, I do have a fantasy pet. She's right here. Her name's um, Lavender. And then there's the fireplace right there, over there. I kind of missed it. Ah. So there's the fireplace. And then up here... I don't know what this ledge thing over here is, but I guess it's there. Um, there's really cool sparkles right here. I don't know what that is. My favorite spot in the whole game is probably the castle area. And then we have our cornfield. Not our cornfields, our cotton fields, even though there's not really a field. There's cotton here. And then up here, there's also cotton. And then there's also a building. Um, I, I, I'm trying to get inside of them. I can get inside of this one. Ah. So if you watch, I could fly up inside of it. I did this in my last video as well. You can go inside of it. Which is pretty cool. And then... Um... Over here we have a bridge. You have to be level 20... No. Sorry. Level 7 to go across this bridge. And then we have, like, this cool, like... Um, I don't know what this is, like some sort of ramp. I don't even know what it goes to. And then my favorite arena, personally, I like this more than Fantasy Arena because it has a big opening, and you can go inside. It's pretty cool. You do dressage and a lot of jumps. I think the most amount of jumpings that I did was 52, um, but I feel like there's going to be a lot more jumps. And then over here, there's some more stable areas, and then more. I think there's, I think I counted once, and there was like a good 30 or so. Um, and then there's Opal, I swear, is the hardest one to find, like, the supplies. And then there's another building over here. They kind of get distance after, like, a while. And then there's, like, a trick here, and then a little lake. Um, and then there's some more stuff here. And then there's a paddock, another paddock, for another horse. Um, it's a rare right now. And then over here, there's another bridge. I'm going to go across the bridge, and then, this is a smaller bridge, and then here's some more mining, this is a big mining area for like, there's mostly iron and cotton here, and most of the time there's stone, and then, hi, um, and then over here we have another pet training. This, okay, I don't really understand this, but this is, like, a whole, like, entire, like, lake thing, and it has, like, this little building. I tried to get inside of that once, but it didn't really work as well. Um, so, yeah, for RP, I like, so, when, like, when you're a wild horse, you can, like, have a shady spot. I don't know. It's, like, really cool. Another mining area, and then here is another pet training thing to lie down. I'm trying to work with my pet to get north but she's still level like one and a half and then down here here's another paddock for another horse and then it ends i think it ends right about yeah it ends here there's nothing really back part this if you're wondering what amber and opal looks like that's opal and then that's amber um and then this way there's another trading trick one and then this way leads to 
There's, there's, there's sometimes stuff here, but not really. And then this opens up to the level 7 area. And then I want to show you um, what it looks like above. So it's not that big. Um, I think it's maybe half of the school area. No, it's not. What is it? I don't know. It's 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 a decent size. And then the fantasy arena. Um, there's nothing really past these. You can't really go past it unless you go up and over. The fantasy arena. It is big and huge. And as you can see, there's a castle above, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. So here is this. Pretty big. I like the colors. I'm getting castle vibes. And then up here is the castle. The Sky Rider Castle, I guess is how you say it. I'm not quite sure, but I really like this. It's really cool. Um, so here this is. It's pretty cool, I guess. Um, you can like fly around it, and there's like a, a like a big open room in a way at the very top. I sometimes go here. I don't know. Sometimes you can like this mountain. Stop here, down here, if you keep going down, you'll see the jumping arena, and the school arena, and then you'll see the trees and everything, and then, yeah, so then there's that, I was gonna say, they were still here, it would be like, kind of, anyway, so, that's basically it for the tour, um, there is another paddock over here, but this is like, one that you obviously know. I mean, like, because your horse is literally there every time. The only so here's how it works. Um, these horses last for about a minute. Um, the river area horses last for five minutes, and the castle area horses last for ten minutes. So if you want to try to catch your horse, you have ten minutes to make the orbs, and which is pretty difficult unless it's like a rare orb or something. Um, I don't remember if I showed this one, but obviously this is the school. I don't really know what this one's called. I think it's the jumping arena. Sorry, that's what you Um, so yeah, um, I think, so I think that's it for the tour. Um, if you liked it, I'll do another video. Um, so, yeah, I hope you had a great time watching it. It was amazing. <laughs>